I think you'd now agree that we're at a point where we need to create the connector lines. I'd like to create lines that connect the various shapes in a logical order. Up here on your Home tab in the Tools group you have a command button called Connector and the shortcut key is Control 3. I'm going to click the connector and then I'm going to move towards this shape. I want to connect this shape to this shape over here. So I'm going to go to this particular point which is the connection point on the left hand side of the shape. I'm then going to drag to the left and down to the middle connector point on this shape. Now as soon as I see this green or red depending on your version it means that I've touched a connection point and I've glued to a connection point. If you don't touch or glue to a connection point and you move the shapes they won't stay connected. So make sure that you do touch. Having connected these two shapes now I want to go back to my pointer tool because I'm finished connecting so I click back on the pointer tool. If I then move the shape, see how they stay connected? Because I glued to a connection point. So it's really important that you do touch and become glued. Now when I right click a shape, and particularly a connector I should say, then I get certain types of connections. And I'm just looking at the anatomy of the connector. For example, this is a right angle connector, but I could change it to a straight connector. And now I have a straight connection between those two shapes. Still connection point to connection point. If I was to right click again, I could choose a curved connector. And now I've got a curved connection between those two shapes. So you can right click a shape and ask for a right angle, straight or curved. Now, no matter what one you've chosen, it will also have points that you can actually drag to change how it actually curves in this case, or bends. I'm going to drag this point here and see how I can actually change the actual curvature of the connector. Now let's right click and make it a right angle connector. And you'll see here I can change how the right angle connector actually connects as well. And I can go undo and undo until I'm back to my right angle connection. So a connector connects from one point to the other, um, they can be straight, curved or right angle and you can actually bend your connector just by dragging these various points on your connector. You can also drag the point at which it connects, I could drag that connection point to another connection point. And so change the point at which it's connected. Now it's important to be able to connect not just to connection points. Sometimes I want to connect to the grid. Sometimes I want to connect to guides that we looked at earlier. Sometimes I want to connect to the vertex of a shape. So it's important to be able to glue or connect to pretty much anything that you need to. For this I'm going to go to the View tab in the ribbon and in this Visual Aids group I would actually like to hit the dialog box launcher which is called Snap and Glue. When I go to this particular window here, I can choose what I can glue to. At the moment, I can only glue to connection points, such as this, or to the guides, which I don't have any of. But I want to be able to connect or glue to the shape of the, um, the geometry of the shape, any of the shape handles, or any of the shape vertices. So I'm going to tick all of those options there and go OK. And let's have a look. Let's click on this connector line and press the delete key to delete it. Let's go back to home and choose the connector and look at the variety of things you can connect to now. Not just this connection point, but pretty much, as you see me rolling along here, pretty much any part of the shape I can now connect to. So if you've got an incredibly busy diagram, it's really important to be able to connect to or glue to any part of a shape. So I would highly recommend that you go to view and that you go to snap and glue or the visual aids dialog box launcher and that you enable the ability to glue or connect to any particular point listed here. Now you'll also find that when you drag um, connectors and shapes they tend to jump and they're snapping to the ruler 
they're snapping to the grid, they're snapping to guides um, and various objects. And so I actually like to turn off all the snapping so it actually just um, glides and glides and goes wherever I want it to go. So these are options you need to think about and I'm just going to go OK. I'd like to create another connector and simply go to the Home tab, go to Connector, and it's actually still on, and I can tell by my mouse pointer. And I'll go from this point across and down to this point. And so I've created another connector. And then I'll simply put my pointer tool back on again. So there is also the importance to be able to work with something called jump lines. So sometimes when we create lines, they jump over other lines. Um, I'm going to create a situation where I'm going to add another process and I'll just put it here. I might add a connector that goes from this point to this point and then a connector that goes from here down, across, up and over to say this point. What you have now is you have a jump line that appears, let me put my pointer tool on, a jump line that appears here. And this jump line's position is basically saying that this line is going over the top of it and it's jumping over the top of it. Now with regards to jump lines, you can turn them off individual lines. Um, I can click on a line for example and on the design tab you've got a connectors button and you can untick the option show jump lines and so that will turn them off. I can just as easily click it again and, and show jump lines. But if you want to control the look of your jump lines and, and all the attributes regarding jump lines, for example, some people don't like it to be uh, a bit of a bump, they like it to be a gap, then on the design tab in the page setup dialog box launcher, I would go into here and I would go to layout and routing. And it's here that you can control everything with regards to jump lines. For example, you can change the style of a jump line from being an arc to being a square, or being two sides or three sides or even a gap. And so there's all sorts of attributes you can change the jump style to, and also the size. And you can also add jump lines to horizontal lines, vertical lines, and so on and so forth. So any sort of settings regarding jump lines you'll find in here. Uh, but I'll just go cancel. Now, the other thing you've got the ability to do is add other drawing um, options besides connectors. If I go to the Home tab, for example, in the ribbon, there is this option in the Tools group, which is called um, Drawing, which allows you to do a rectangle, an ellipse, a line, freeform, arc, or even a pencil. So I know you've got rectangles type shapes in your stencils, but you can choose rectangle from here and drag and create a rectangle. You could also choose rectangle still on, choose to hold the shift key and drag a rectangle. And when you hold the shift key, the rectangle actually becomes a perfectly shaped square with four 90 degree angles. If I went back to the drawing tools, I could actually change it to ellipse which lets me draw an ellipse here. But again, if I was to hold the shift key and drag to create an ellipse, I would actually get a perfectly formed 360 degree circle. Um, other drawing options include a line, and so you can drag to create a line. You can also create freeform, so you can literally drag and create some sort of freeform shape. Um, you can also create an arc of varying degrees. Um, and the other option you've got in here is a pencil where you can scroll and create shapes. So there are various drawing tools there um, mentioned and the shift key does have some sort of impact on those drawing tools in terms of a precise square, a precise um, circle. And then I would simply undo, undo to get rid of those objects because you've got 20 levels of undo. Now the other thing is connection points, and that's really the last tool that we've got to look at in this group of tools. 
I'll go back to pointer tool. Earlier, we went into the visual aids, we went into view, we went into visual aids dialog box, and we said that we wanted to be able to glue to anything. Um, and so that really means that you don't need connection points. But to cover the topic anyway, it means that I can go to home, I can go to connector, connection point here, and as it says, hold the control key and click where you want to add, move, or delete a connection point. So I'll click that, hold the control key, and I can actually create, using um, sort of a fuchsia color, I can create a whole lot of connection points along any shape, and even within a shape. And if I then go back to my pointer tool or back to my connector tool, when I go to now create a connection, I can connect to any point in the shape really because all these points I've created. And so you can create your own connection points using this particular tool and then you can connect to those points. And again, I'm just going to undo, 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 undo until they all disappear. But I think if you set your um, glue options to everything, that alleviates the need to ever having to create connection points, but it is an option. Lastly, um, I might just tidy this up, put my pointer tool on, delete this line here, and delete this shape here. You can also um, lay out your shapes um, nice and quickly, um, and I have varying measure of success with this. So I might lasso these shapes here, and if I go to design, for example, we have got a re-layout page, and so I can actually just rest on each option, and they will change the layout of this diagram to be perfectly lined and distributed, and so that's an option as well. If you want to change the layout, simply choose one of these rearrange, re-layout page options. So I'm just going to go top to bottom. And that's particularly that shape laid out.